In this week's Soul Food, we'll talk about Paloma's new milestone, how to eat healthy on the go, and of course, we'll end with something sweet. Well, Mama, Paloma is potty trained, and I'm devastated. I'm really serious. I am devastated. Uh, which just sounds so bizarre because, I mean, not having to change another diaper is really awesome in a lot of ways, right? I mean, I've been changing diapers for almost six years. Spur you, Lena. <laughs> so the fact that I don't have to do that really anymore is huge, but I have so much grief around this. It's crazy. Um, so basically, I mean, Griffin potty trained her in a lot of ways because what would happen every evening we would you know read stories they drink their drink and then they like, okay it's potty time and griffin would go in his potty and then paloma would go on her little respective potty and they would go and um you know so she just watched him it was like monkey see monkey do so she was already like 60 percent, 70 percent there i'm like let's just round this thing out and finish it up. So I did basically the same thing I did with Griffin and it works really well. I have a whole post about this. So if you are struggling with potty training, check it out because it really works, at least in my experience. Basically I get a basket, I go out, I get some toys. I don't spend a lot of money, but you know, just little fun things that she likes like stickers and markers and bubbles and stuff like that. And I put it into the basket and then I tell her, you know, Paloma, every time you go potty on the potty, you get to pick a toy. And she's like, really? You know, she was really excited. So sure enough, I mean, she I think she had two accidents, maybe three. And she learned the whole potty training thing because every time she'd go, she'd get her little toy, she'd play with it, and then she looked forward to the next one. And then at the end of the day, I take all those toys, we put them back into the basket, and then we start over the next day. So it was super easy. It was weird. There was like no struggle. She still does wear a diaper at nap time and at night time. Um, I think I'm going to wean her off of that nap time one for now and then eventually the night time. But I mean, she's only two and a half, so it might be a little while for that. But for the most part, she's potty trained. And, um, and I'm just sad about it because you know, these things that have been such a big part of my life, like breastfeeding, you know, that was the first thing I really had to grieve when she basically weaned herself at a year. That was super sad. And now she's got no more diapers. And then it's like, okay, what else is going to be? And like, this has basically been my identity for the last five, six years is just raising the kids, getting up in the middle of the night, nursing, burping, changing, you know, feeding. And now, you know, it's just, everything is changing. I feel like I'm in this new season. And, um, and that's kind of why I wanted to do something different than IRL and doing these soul foods. Cause I feel like I'm in just this other chapter of my life where it isn't baby, baby, especially because your second child, maybe you can relate to this. They're so much more mature. Maybe it's cause she's a girl. I don't know, but she's like going on six. I mean, she's like, I know what I want. I know what I, you know, she can speak completely clearly. She can tell me anything. I mean, this girl is like on her way, but the good news is we still have car seats to contend with. We still got the bedtime battles. Paloma's still in a crib and I want her there till she's like six. So I'm good. We're doing okay here. Um, and I would love to now hear from you. What milestone has your kid just achieved? How did it make you feel? Were you sad? Were you happy? Share with me in the comments below. So if you're wondering if your child is ready to be potty trained, because it's really important that they're ready, or if you want to know how to potty train, or maybe you're thinking, I'm just going to avoid diapers altogether and practice elimination communication, I've got you covered. I got three posts on all of those. I'll have links to those in the video description below. You know, as a family, we really don't go out to eat much because I find when we do, I always walk away disappointed. First of all, it's very expensive but also it never tastes as good as it does at home. And that's just because they don't use as good of ingredients. You know, it's more about the dollar, so they'll use the cheapest, you know, canola oil or just um, soybean oil that add sugar to things. And you know, we live here near the Gulf and you will go out and order shrimp and it's not even from the Gulf. It might be farmed from China because it's a lot cheaper and it's just disappointing. But, um, you know, we do all try to live in the world. So at times we do go out to eat um, and there are ways that you can make it healthy. The first is you can bring your own food. Hey, yeah, uh, we are at a ballet in the park. How cool is that? So we packed a picnic dinner. Here we have some uh, fennel and beet salad and some shrimp and some crackers and some nuts and seeds. And you don't even have to bring a whole meal. You could just bring sides of veggies because I find for me, that's what I struggle with the most. You go out to eat and they'll give you like this little tiny side salad, you know, and I'm like, I need like a half a plate of veggies here. So I'll just cut up raw veggies, put them in a container and put it in my purse and I'm good to go. 
Um, you also can pack salad dressing. This is huge. Most restaurants, they use nasty oils in their salad dressing. They're not using extra virgin olive oil unless you're going to a nicer place. Um, so that's something I always do. It's easy to pack and you know that at least the fats that you're getting in your body are good ones. Um, sometimes I'll pack dessert. So I'm with the kids and maybe they want the junky stuff that they have. Um, I'll pack fresh fruit or dates or nut bars and that way they can have something sweet and tasty at the end of their meal. Huh, I think it is a, a big ray. So I hope you enjoyed your soul food for this week. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and again, share with me what was your child's most recent milestone and how'd you feel about it? I love reading your comments and we'll see you next week.